We're ready, we're ready. No, we, we are listening. We are oh, okay, okay. Listening. Fine. The biggest threat for the charitable sector is more than one. First of all, is to prepare the second generation okay. while you are in power and in office. Second thing is not to be fund driven. Just to go after the fund, no matter what happened, and sometimes this kind of being a fund driven will undermine your value and your culture. This is very important. The third point is actually the character of the organization. Does the organization have a certain character? Does the organization have a substance to give to the local community? Does the organization have a philosophy of thinking or a culture? Do the people who run the organization stand up for their values? This is the other challenge. The last and not the least challenge is to empower the local community and to make them independent and stand on their own feet. So the yani, the fighting the humanitarian colonialism. There's something called humanitarian colonialism or humanitarian imperialism. Whether you call it imperialism or colonialism, it is imperialism and colonialism. It is what you need to do. You have to empower the people and they have to uh, remember what happened this morning when we were going to the airport that the people told you that you are racist, you are imperialist, you are colonial, you are imperial. Because if you do something with a misunderstanding, that means that actually you are colonial to them. So, the colonialism, unfortunately, 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 Muslim charities are failing into this trap because they become like uh, the black slave who became a master to another black slave. The black slave who became a master, and you see the film which you call uh, Gun with the Wind. Gun with the Wind is a beautiful film. It's about nearly two, three hours. Talk about the war between North America and I mean uh, the North, um, the North, uh, the North America and the South America, USA. The North were actually uh, like socialist, like the South were like colonials. And see the discussion among the black slaves in the family. Okay? And you understand was the Floyd, George Floyd, when he came from. And this kind of, unfortunately, humanitarian colonialism, it is coming to become a part of the character of Muslim charities because they are following and becoming fund driven to SIDA and SIDA and USAID and others, so they behave like them like the black slave who became a master, and he is enslaving the other black slaves. The last and not least is connection is protection. And this is my proverb and my tag hash or hashtag. Connection is protection. Yeah. Nice. Connection is protection. What does it mean? You have to connect. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa Good to see you. Connection is protection. You connect with your own staff. You connect with your own volunteer. But sometimes you are in the office because you are looking at this strangely. You see, she had a look when I said you connect with your own staff. The certain managers and directors do not connect to their own staff. They are disconnected. They are living in the ivory, ivory castle or tower, tower, tower. ivory tower, and they are living in little ghettos. <laughs> Departmentalization is not something you. Each department is hiding from each department. Okay. Connection, communication, networking, building partnership, 
then empowering the local community. This is the most difficult part of what I said. This is the most difficult because it does not bring money, but creates generation who will be able to maintain the sustainability of the organization. Okay? This is the challenge. And she stopped the recording. And she's talking. No, no, it's recording. It's recording. The, the next question she oh. which... <laughs> The peanut, who is the peanut man who loves eating monkey's food? His name is Naima. 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 Her name is Naima. Who is the peanut woman who loves eating the monkey's food? Let's leave it. Go on, the second question. No, no, I haven't. Another question came to mind. Is it comb the hair or hair the comb? Hair the comb. Okay. Because you go to the difficult. 